Hello all, I am live. And I am here to introduce our first installment of Money Talks with Mitchell Consulting. But please let me first introduce myself. My name is Lauren King Darden and I am a business advisor at Mitchell Consulting. I started working with Mitchell Consulting in 2020 and my role has evolved and now I am a business advisor. I started as a bookkeeper. And just a little background uh, on me, I am, uh, I have a background in audit and accounting. I started my career with KPMG, which is a public accounting firm and moved along to um, internal audit role for about 12 years. And I decided that I just had a passion for small business growth and kind of seeing my imprint on the community in a different way. And I know that the foundation of many are of our communities is our small businesses. So I am so honored and proud to be a part of Mitchell Consulting and I'm here to bring you something new we're cooking up which is a segment I have liked to call Money Talks. And so here we are going to just be real, have a conversation about different topics, financial to topics of course that impact owners on a daily basis and we're also here to answer any questions so feel free to put your questions down in the comments if you have anything that's just burning on your mind and hopefully at some point in our money talk series we'll touch on one of your questions and maybe even bring you on as a guest to ask it i just came up with that maybe hopefully so let's see what happens okay so in our first installment of Money Talks, I wanted to introduce myself. So hi, I'm here, I'm Lauren, again, just to remind y'all. And we're gonna just pick off some low hanging fruit, taxes. So it's February, it's the beginning of the year still, and I know that we are dealing with these taxes. So I just wanna touch on a couple of topics from a, a accounting perspective, and hopefully answer maybe some burning questions you may have about filing this year. So, first easy question, when are they due? If you are a partnership, a multi-member LLC, or an S-Corp, your taxes are due in 30 days on March the 15th. So that deadline is coming around quicker than we know, time is flying. Now, if you're an individual, a sole proprietor, a single member LLC, or a C Corp, your taxes are due on tax day. So April the 15th. It is not on a weekend. It's not a drill. It's on the 15th this year. I think last year it may have been a holiday, so it was pushed a little bit, but it is. That's when it's due. Now, if you file extensions, uh, you can push your dates back a couple months, but what you are pushing back is when you need to file, not when you need to pay. So keep that in mind whatever you have to pay will accrue whatever interest or fees that the IRS feels is is worthy <laughs> of their their weight okay so now that that's out the way let's talk about another thing deductions i know that's on everyone's mind that's what's burning when you think of your taxes you are automatically automatically thinking how can i not pay taxes <laughs> And as a business owner, it's kind of hard. You're going to be in this like space of balance, a conundrum of like, okay, how do I decrease my tax liability or like my, my AGI, my gross income that they're going to tax me on? And it's tough because the best way to do that is to have deductions and to have, you know, those expenses that go through your business. But in all honesty, y'all, seriously. It's going to be tough to not pay taxes if you have a positive net income. And as a business owner, you want a positive net income. You want your business to grow. You want to be able to have whatever passion you have explode and do well and have people that support it. Um, and so, and you want to have a good looking financial statements because that can impact your investors. It can impact you know, debtors and, and wanting to get more debt and use debt strategies. And, you know, you don't want to just put all types of things and 
uh, and decrease your net income to the point where you don't have to pay taxes, you have to strategize, right? Okay, so let's talk about that. So I'm a business owner. I got to pay taxes. I have a positive net income. So what do I do? I strategize. I need to talk to my tax accountant and figure out, am I maximizing the deductibles that I am currently applying to my business? As a business owner, we know that there are advantages that you have. You can deduct things that you're using for your business, and that includes things in your home that W-2 workers cannot deduct. And so we do need to take advantage of these things. If you're driving all over the place, deduct that. You know, if, you're, if your car is used for business, you can deduct, you know, mileage, and registration, and all these things. Of course, talk to your tax accountant and confirm that that applies to you. But there are so many advantages as a business owner. But what we need to keep in mind is that also we need to just prepare because ultimately our goal is to make more money. Our goal is to have more money. <laughs> and so it's really tough to, you know, make money and not pay taxes. And so that's when you strategize. That's when you have a plan in place, a cash flow plan, not just a deduction plan, but a strategy on how to manage your cash so that Tax season isn't a daunting thing anymore. It doesn't have to be. It can be something that you've prepared for all year round. And if your tax accountant is looking for documents, that's another thing you can play for all year round. So at Mitchell Consulting, this is something we can help you with. While we are not tax preparers, please let me repeat, we do not do taxes at Mitchell Consulting. However, we know what your tax accountants are looking for, and we work hand in hand with a few of them. And so we are here to guide you and, and just help you to get to the place where this season doesn't have to be such a stressful, dreaded time of the year. It could just be February. Happy Valentine's Day, by the way. So let us help you. Let your tax accountants help you. Get your documentation together. Make sure your books are accurate. And this time of year will go much faster. But remember, when you make money, taxes are just going to be a thing that you have to deal with. And so what I charge you with or challenge you with is to just think about where is the best use of my time? Is it in taxes and preparing for it? Or is it with my vision? And working on those things that I'm really, really good at. Okay. So, if you need the help, we are here to help. We love helping our clients with at this time of year. And honestly, it's a breeze for us because we've been working on it the whole year. And you don't even have to be bothered with it. So, if you're interested, feel free to just book a call. We would love to talk to you. If you want to continue the chat, put it in the chat. DM us. Or use the link that we have put um, on this post and just chat with us and let's see how we can serve you. Also, if you have any other questions that you would love to be asked, this is Money Talks. Feel free to put it in the comments and I will talk to you guys next week. So I hope you enjoyed this installment. Talk to y'all next week.